Yo, welcome back. Psychor here. And today in Ghost of a Tale, I guess I want to try to continue on trying to figure out how to, I guess, get evidence on Rezia um, that she is the leader of the smuggling ring. And maybe see if I can continue on with the story a little bit or something. I mean, because, uh, let's see here. I was trying to do a little bit of exploring around the kitchen here. Uh, just a bit. But, uh, yeah, I still need to fetch a key from the kitchen. I'm not sure what I need to do exactly. Somehow, I, I mean, I expect it's behind that kitchen door. And I need to somehow get a, key, a kitchen door key. So, yeah. I'm not sure where to go for that. We'll see. Um, and I need to prove Rezia is the master. So f where do I find evidence of that? This one, I mean, this really doesn't really say anything. Yeah, it's just, doesn't give me enough of s summary over there. Nor does this, exactly. <laughs> and the lost squad, I still need to find that last guard. I actually haven't been able to find him down there. I mean, I've, pretty much have explored the whole catacombs so hmm it's he's somewhere i just missed it somewhere i'll have to go dig around down there but um let's see here one questionable thing i did find here in this back area is i mean there's a bucket in here and i don't know what reason there's a bucket in here for i mean like i don't see anything up on the wall that i need to get up to and like this is a window and I can't even get through the window. I can't dig in chamber pots and which is kind of weird Why does it look like I can dig in the chamber pot and then it just doesn't really do anything? Yeah, maybe uh, since there's flies there's um, re Remnants in there <laughs> uh, But yeah, I'm not really sure You would think it would just say nothing in there. You know what I mean? Why is it? It's kind of weird. It looks like there's a hole there. Well, that's kind of strange. Can I? Huh. That's weird. It looks like there's like a hole in the mesh or something. There. Huh. Well, if it's a hole in the mesh, maybe I should stay away. I have no idea because <laughs> I think I can see clouds through it so that yeah that's a little suspicious okay let's head out here now um, let's just see what happens when I talk to Rezia again probably nothing um, one thing I did notice is when I hit Y with the um, with the armor on he salutes <laughs> I don't know if I noticed that in the past at all here but uh, let's see what happens if I do that in front of him. Did you do anything? Uh, let's see. Nope. He didn't do a thing. Okay. Well, I don't know what the reason is. Maybe it's just fun. Okay. So I think I have enough sticks. Yeah. Now I could try to talk to Rezia, even though she's probably going to act like nothing happened. Good afternoon, Private. Please, can you spare any food? What are you cooking, Uma? Uh, Uma. And it's probably best if I go. Uh, let's just ask her what she's cooking. Porridge! Will you try some? Uh, just a little if I may. It's cooling right now, but remind me to give you a taste before you go. I don't even know if I want a taste. Okay, uh, and I can't get any more food from her. I expect she charges me for all these. Thank you, but I'll manage. Yeah. Drink, I guess I'll take the porridge. I feel reinvigorated, so she's not going to drug me again. Um, let's see here. I mean, before I wasn't able to throw a bottle at her. Let's throw a bottle at her and see what happens. It's black now. Why is it a black circle? Hmm. Nope, can't do a thing. Ah, uh, sadly. Wait, what? Let's try another one. Nope, can't do anything. Oh well. And there's, there's a like a bottle of rot gut up there too. Got infinite sticks, so I can't 
Yeah, I can't hit that rot gut either, so. Yeah, I can't do anything to her. So it's, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I need to do. I'd steal a key off of her if I could, but there's no no key to steal. Uh, best if I go. Okay, uh, I'll take this. Uh, I need to get some bottles as well. And this, yeah, I need the kitchen key. So I have to find that kitchen key. Otherwise, there's nothing else here. So the next place I would need to try to go... I mean, yeah, I could continue on with the prison transport ship. Maybe. I guess that's possible, but... I, I don't know. I mean, it could unlock something past that, I guess. Um, but otherwise... Fetch key from the kitchen and find the marked O-balls. So the, f the last O-ball will be the key from the kitchen here. I mean, yeah, I could head down into the catacombs quick just to see if I can find that last guard. But it's possible there's a path I'm missing down there. I'm really not sure on that. Because there's one area... Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I might as well do it this way. Um, let's see... Where's the catacombs? There we go. Yeah, this this area, uh, you see that little speech bubble down there, kind of in the in the middle, you know, the lower middle there. I was there previously trying to figure out how to talk to whatever is there because it's like there's an NPC or something there, but I can't talk to anything. I don't see anything to talk to when I'm actually there, so I'm not sure where that is. Maybe it's down below, or maybe it's up above. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could go in, go down there, and just see if Duenlin uh, has anything to say now. Because, yeah, Duenlin's kind of gotten uh, out of necessity here. I don't even need to talk to her anymore. <laughs> Okay, um, let's get out here. So I guess I'm going to head down into the catacombs and see what I can find down there. So yeah, it's going to take me just a bit of walking. I still need to find that kitchen key though, so... I don't know who has the kitchen key. I wonder if there, if Rezia has like some room or something. Okay, I'm at the location here where that speech bubble is. Basically. It's like like right in here. Yeah. But it's like there's nothing on the wall. Uh let's light the lantern. Nothing on the wall. And I would think, like, you know, maybe up. I don't see anything up. It's hard to tell. But then when I get over here... There's nothing over here either. And I'm already past it. So it's like it's either up on top of this... Or somewhere down below me. And when I look over the edge... Well, let's just say I don't want to get too close. <laughs> So get over here. Same thing. Too close for comfort. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. Um, let's see. I mean, is there anything that it targets when I try to use a stick here? Doesn't seem that way. What about a pine cone? I don't see anything. No pine cones used. Let's try a bottle, even though that probably wouldn't do anything. Don't see any bottles used either. And nothing up there. Actually, I should try the pine cone up there just because nah, nothing okay so yeah I'm not fully sure exactly what this area is now I did see 
an odd banner as I was walking in here. Um, I'd have to get back to it here. But it's it was showing something with the magpie. Let's see if I can get over here without falling off the edge and stuff. Now, is there anything down there? It's really hard to tell, but I don't see anything that would remotely look like it's an area I could walk on. Up there, though, I mean, it's possible there could be something up there. But anyway, I'm going to head back up here because I had seen a questionable banner at the entrance that showed something to do with the magpie. And it showed, like, rat rangers and, um, like, firing arrows at the magpie and the magpie carrying, like, a, um, what is it? Carrying a one of the chandeliers in here so let me see here when I go in here the magpie doesn't do or say anything I can walk around in here and I see no dialogue or anything and this is in the thief set so I just I'm gonna switch to the ranger set and just see if there's any difference um, let's see nope wrong button because, you know, what else is the ranger for? Okay, let's see. Is there anything? Any reaction? Hello, magpie. You gonna react to me at all? No, it doesn't look it. This magpie is here for a reason, and I'm not exactly sure what. Um, hello. You can see me. Uh, like, I mean, there's an, you know, okay. There's an infinite supply of, of these pine cones now. Let's just see what happens if I throw one. Nope, nothing. Nope. It would probably it would probably target it if I could do anything. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste another one. Okay, um, let's see. And this same thing. It's not targeting this at all either. But um, I think I will save because why not? Always good to save your game. Let's head down here. Now, Duinlin. Let's see if Duinlin has anything to say. You have returned, as you promised. But I sense you come in search of answers. Uh, please, if there's anything more I can do, you need to only ask. Uh, okay. I, I have no right to ask this of you, good mouse. But will you tend the graves of my comrades? Oh! Okay, this is the beginning of another quest that I didn't get. Okay. Interesting. So many of them lie buried in these woods. Please light a candle in their names so they are remembered. Okay, that's the obelisks. Okay, that's what I was missing. Pray, take this. You feel the cold weight of an iron key in your paw. Ah, is that the obelisk? The obelisk box? At the foot of Joth's obelisk sits a chest. Inside are instructions that will guide you in this task. Okay. It would be an honor, my lady. Uh, is there nothing more you need? Hmm. I mean, yes, it would be an honor, but I feel like I'd like to ask her, is there anything more that she needs? Oh, this is a decision. I'm thinking this honor one will take me off. I mean, let's try and talk to her again after this. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Welcome, good mouse. If you have any question, pray ask it. Is there nothing more you need? Okay. You have done so much for me, and yet I have one more request. Okay. My mortal remains and hiths lie strewn about this place. I did get some. 
Will you gather and return them to my tomb? I wish to rest now, beside my true love. Okay, how will I recognize the remains as yours? I might as well ask. They bear my name, as Hiths bear his. Uh-huh, okay. If you will grant me this kindness, I will give you something precious in return. Okay, what is that? Until then, I must remain a shade. Okay. So, I should have that mostly completed. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I'm going on the quest. There we go. Uh, okay. Wrong. Now! There we go. Vessels of the Gilded Warrior. Collect Duanlin's urns, 4 out of 5, and Hith's urns, 2 out of 5. Ah, uh, nuts. Where are they? Duanlin, can you maybe mark them on my map? <laughs> uh... So, collect and read invocation. Light a candle to each of Duanlin's fallen comrades in the woods at Jos Obelisk. It is an inv invocation that will guide you in your task. Okay, yeah, that will guide me. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, let's talk to Duanlin again. Who is it that calls to me? If you have a question, pray ask it. Forgive me, my lady. I have not yet found all of your remains, nor hiths. I have nothing but time, good mouse. My fate is in your paws, young mouse. Okay, so she's not gonna give me any, any locations. Okay. Eh. Okay, lady doing them. I'll try my best, but <laughs> no guarantees. Uh, okay, this book is unlabeled. Okay, so this is a quest that I haven't figured out yet, or haven't gotten yet, so I'll try to do that. Might as well save, because I just talked to Duanlin. Okay, so let's go um, back out to, I guess, to the obelisks. So I'll head over here, and I can show you that banner that I saw quickly. And this must be the spider traps. The bear traps that I've been seeing are spider traps. So, yeah, that icon now shows them. So that is what the spider trap skill does. It's interesting, but I, ha I hate to say I don't really need it anymore. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. There is a big gap here. So let's run and jump across. There we go. Okay, get over here. And it's just over here by this, the ladder. Um, can't quite see it from here. So get over here. And right here. Now you see that banner right above my head there. So there's what looks like a bird, and then a bird carrying one of the chandeliers. The bird looks like it was hit by an arrow, and there's some rangers with arrows on the ground there underneath it. I wonder if that's signifying of anything. I'm not sure. There's some other banners around here too that it's kind of hard to see them because they're, you know, kind of hidden in some spots. So they're behind things and it makes it hard to see. Uh, I can't even see any right now. So it's interesting. I'm not sure. I don't know the significance of it, but it makes me feel like there's something to do with the magpie. Okay, I'm gonna get out to the far tower and I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, here I am at the obelisk chest. Let's open this and see what I get. Honor the dead and far tower map. Oh yeah, the far, to far tower map. <laughs> Uh, so I get a second far tower map. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, two far tower maps, <laughs> of course. Okay. Honor the dead. An ancient message written on skin. Okay. Inspect it. The message is written on skin, ancient, and almost impossibly fragile. Yeah, I would assume that. Okay, let's see what it says. Read, collect and read invocation. Okay. So, honor the dead. Too many fell here in the clarion's defense. 
the names of all but nine forever lost to memory, death and time. By those nine names may the sacrifices of all be known, and let these candles burn eternal in their stead. And should some ill wind snuff them out, may it be upon the conscience of all good creatures to see these candles lit once more in the solemn order that our nine heroes fell. Joth fell first, here at the forest gate. Then did Ol, the archer, looking north towards his home. Hith was taken next, before Canlun, southwest of the Clarion, fell. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Was lost on the northern slopes, beneath the bridge in the shade of her beloved oak tree. H fell in sight of Viola's plain and the light of the setting sun. The two sisters fought and died together, Wendy first beneath the arches and dot 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 just below her dot dot went alone last before the clarion's call. Okay, they're making it difficult. So let's see here. First is Joth. Then it's Ul. Then it's Hith. Is it Hith or Hith? You know, it could be either one. Um, and then Canlun. Okay, so Joth, Ul, Hith, and Canlun. Okay, so let's take out my candle here. If I get the right button pressed. Okay. Is this Joth? This is Joth. Okay. So, light Joth. Okay. Now, where's Ul? Um, I don't want to burn a candle out. Let's check. Then did Ul the archer looking north towards his home. Okay. So, let's see. North would probably would be up. So it would probably be that top obelisk up there, not necessarily in the the other forest over to the side, but I assume in this area, the southern area here. So let's go up to the top one. This one up here, was this one Hith or Hith? I, I, I can look quick since I'm going past. Let's see. This one is height. Okay. So Ul is probably over here. Let's see what this one says. Here lies Ul, his faithful bow at his side. Okay. So light this one up. Okay. Then I think the next one was height. Uh, I should make sure, just in case. Yes, height. Now, Hyth was over here. Now, let's see, right here. Okay. And now, I think it was Canlun. Canlun, southwest of the Clarion. Okay. So, southwest. That would be over there, down to the left. So get over here. Around the corner. And... Find it in the shrubbery. Ooh. Oh, that's a bear trap I triggered already. Yeah, I probably triggered that with my body. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where is... Oh, I passed it. I passed it. Down here. So many bear traps. Spider traps. I don't even probably need to worry about it, though. I think I triggered them all. If not with my sticks. With my body. <laughs> Okay, Ken, no creature braver, nor more humble. Okay, let's get this one lit. Okay, 
So that's four out of nine. Okay, so that's all four in this area. The other area, there's one, two, three, four, five, I think. It's, it's actually hard to see. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's not let a candle wear out. I, I want to save on candles just because I'm a cheapskate. Okay. Now, dot, dot, dot was lost on the northern slopes beneath the bridge in the shade of her beloved oak tree. Okay. So, northern slopes now is where it's going. Beneath the sh bridge in the shade of her beloved oak tree. So, let's check over in the northern slopes here. I'm thinking it's that one right down there below the bridge, right to the right. So let's see. If there's one there, I can't actually remember. So head up here. Go around the corner. I wonder what amazing reward doing then is going to give me. Or one, what special reward. Maybe the... Uh, I wonder if it would be the king's tunic. It would not surprise me. Although one interesting thing I've noticed is if I look at my stats, the statistics here, um, it says I've got five out of seven costumes completed. If I complete the king's set, that means I have six. So that means there's one whole costume left. Which is interesting. And I've only completed 45 out of 52 quests as well. So there's something to that. Something significant. Okay, let's head down here. Below the bridge. Because, yeah, I gotta get all the way down. You know, I could just switch my armor to move faster. Thief set, there we go. So head over here. Now, was there one over here? I don't actually remember one. I mean... Ah, okay. I've never actually climbed up those rocks before. I thought it stopped there. I never thought about climbing. <laughs> okay, so let's just check this one. Uh, who... Wait. There's a mushroom. Moonlight's Veiled Mushroom. Another mushroom. And some brambles there. Okay, I gotta be careful for them. Inscription. Clin, unyielding like the oak, gentle like the willow. Okay. So let us burn these leaves away and light this one. Light that up. There we go. Okay. Now let's check the next one. Okay, so let's see. H fell in sight in sight of Vilas Plain and the light of the setting sun. Hmm. In sight of Vilas Vilia's Plain and this light of the setting sun. Okay, so the setting sun would probably be that top one there, I'm thinking, because the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So that's the west, so that's the only thing I can think of. So let's run over here and check. So head this way, and up here, and up here. There we go. Yeah, I remember the Vilian Vi Sea here used to be Vi a Vilian Plain. Okay, so let's see. Uh, inscription. Harath, incorruptible. The emerald flame could not assail him. Okay, let's light this one. Hopefully this one's the right one. Yes, okay. Now... Let's check the next. 
Okay, the two sisters fought and died together. One day first. Beneath the archers, arches. And something else just below her. Okay. So, just below the arches. Now, I know there's one over there on the right. But is there two there? I mean, I only, honestly, on the mini-map here, I only see four of them. I don't see five. But it's saying a name, Wendy. So let's head over here to this one and just see what this one says. Who is this? Slitter Rat. A, a wit as sharp as any sword. Okay. So, let's see here. And there's one more up here that I know of. It's probably another one that I didn't notice. Below the arches. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. This is Theo, steadfast at her sister's side in battle and in death. Okay, so let's see. Where is there another obelisk? Should be one here somewhere. Below the arches. There's a big tree here. But it's not the tree. And it's getting, it's dark, it's hard to see. But it's getting light too, so. Now I don't want to light this one, that might mess up the whole thing. Let's see. Beneath the arches, and just below her, Okay, so beneath the arches. Why does it look like there's... I mean, there's... Where is beneath the arches? This is an arch. But if it's beneath the arches... Then it'd be somewhere down here. Or somewhere over here. And I'm sliding down the hill. I don't think it'd be over here. Let's just see what that is here. Um, get back up here. Okay, so Okay, so this is that one. So I feel like there's a way to get up here. Is there a way to get up here? Aha. Uh -huh. I see. They made that a little tricky now, didn't they? Okay. You have to scale the wall. Of course, it's probably easier if it's actually during the day. I can't see a thing almost. <laughs> okay. Let's check this one. Uh, inscription. Sister to Theo, comrade to all. It doesn't even say Wendy. Okay. Well, let's burn this one. Burn. And light it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I have to somehow scale a, a rock face that is kind of weird. <laughs> okay. And this is Theo then. Sis yeah, the sister of Wendy. Even though it doesn't actually say Wendy on Wendy's. I don't know why. Okay, like that one. And then 
the last one must be this uh, slitter rat. So head down here. Light this one up. Nothing remembered ever truly dies. Okay, yeah. My comrades will live on in memory. Yes, they will. I'm grateful to you for this kindness. Pray, take this. May it provide you illumination without end. You find yourself holding a curious lantern burning with a bluish flame. When you look again, the ghost is gone. Okay. And, okay, so that shows the candle up there. Okay, so, hmm, tools. Ooh, what is this? An eternal flame that burns cold. I wonder what this is for. Okay, so, interesting. It can act as a light a little bit. Looks like it, the other, the lantern and the candle are still a little better. But I wonder what this is useful for. Okay, so I can't hit A. I can't hit Y, X. I can jump with it. Uh, that's understandable. Okay, let's save here. Make sure I save. Because I, I like to save. Okay, so... Uh, wrong area. Okay. Now, I, the last thing I have then is the Vessels of the Gilded Warrior. So I gotta collect Duinland's urns, uh, one more of them, and Hythe's urns, which I need three more of them. Okay, so that's interesting. Maybe I can find the missing guards as well. Who knows? This seems like I need to go back down to the catacombs then. So I guess I'll have to head back down there and see what else I can find. So I've got to head back up here. Actually, it's, it's quite the distance back to the catacombs. Frankly, I wonder if it's even closer to go the path to the harbor. I'm not sure. But that's interesting. I got a nice blue lantern. Um, the ever-burning cold flame that seems pretty interesting. And I'm not sure what it's for. I'll have to see. It's got probably something to do with the catacombs. and Or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll have to see. Otherwise, I should probably just end this episode off here. Uh, yeah, I'll have to continue on looking next time in the catacombs because yeah this blue flame is gonna be interesting to figure out what what I use it for and it burns it, it's burning his tunic it <laughs> goes straight through me <laughs> uh, that, that's funny uh, but uh yeah I guess that's it for this episode if you like this episode hit that like button I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. <laughs> and he can run with this too. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, hit that bell icon, leave a comment, and of course share it. Uh, that's crazy. This mouse running with a blue flame. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ooh, I wonder. Can I, like, light this or something? Who knows? Uh, no, I can't even reach it. Like, no, I don't think I can do anything with it. It feels like... Well, I got up there, but I can't do anything. Yeah, I can't swing this or anything, so I'm not sure what it's for. Um, yeah, I can crouch, but yeah. I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs>